Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Wildflower Carm, better known as just Carm to my friends, and I'm coming at you guys today with another hair video. So, as you can see, I have freshly washed hair. I legit just got done washing it conditioning it and deep conditioning it and if you want to know more about the deep conditioner i use you should check out last week's video of my deep conditioner and chill i talk about some pretty deep but beautiful things and i show you guys what conditioner i use and i just talk a little bit about why i like it um i want to let you guys know that i use the garnet fructis pure clean line to wash and condition my hair and on days when my hair needs like some extra nutrients, I usually do double condition. So I'll wash it, condition it, and then deep conditioning it. Also, the deep conditioner I use was Thank God It's Naturals Honey Miracle Hair Mask. But like I said, if you want to know a little bit more about that, check out last week's video. Well, my hair is done and it feels really soft and really conditioned. So let's get into the real reason why I'm doing today's video. I promised you guys a few weeks ago another product review on miss jessie's this you guys is the honey curls let's see it is the honey curls the best darn hair cream period so this is a hair cream it's for defining your curls wash and go styling rod sets conditioning hole and natural styling i'm going to be doing a twist out today i'm going to start by taking down the section of my hair i want to begin with i think i'm going to go ahead and start in the back And I'll start in this section. So the first thing that I'm gonna do, cause my hair is pretty wet. I'll position that down a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and take my scalp oil and put this all throughout my scalp. And this is just gonna ensure that I don't get super dry scalp really early on. Lately, y'all, my scalp has been doing really well. Um, I know I've talked about it a lot in my hair journey. But yeah, my scalp has been doing amazing. I don't usually use a leave-in, so I'm just going to skip that part. Actually, you guys hardly use a leave-in conditioner, but that's okay. Next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and take some coconut oil and rub it on my hands. And I'm going to put it all over my very wet hair. I've never found leave-ins to be very, very beneficial. But if y'all feel differently, please let me know. Go ahead, Feel free to go ahead and... Hit that comment section up and let me know what leave-in conditioners y'all use um, underneath your oils and creams that actually help your hair. Stick this up here. I'm going to do a pretty chunky twist out today because I need to rush and take my mom to Walmart. <laughs> All right, so let's get into this product, y'all. Okay, so like I said, this is the Honey Curls. It's sweet almond oil and honey. Honey is a natural humectant for your hair, so it's very healthy for your hair. This particular product is no mineral oil, no petroleum, no gluten, no sulfates, no silicones, no DEA, no parabens, no animal testing, and no paraffin, which means it sounds pretty healthy. The instructions that it gives is evenly distribute a palm, a palmful or more to damp, freshly washed, conditioned or detangled hair, conditioned and detangled hair. Spread a generous amount until you have good coverage. Make sure you scrunch your hair to encourage curl, to dry, either use a diffuser, attachment on blow dryer to dry the hair or air dry and go. To refresh your curls daily, dampen hair and apply a little bit more of honey curls and repeat the steps above. Okay, like I said, you guys, I'm not going to do that because I am going to um, be doing a twist out today. But I will show you guys what it seems to do in my hair. This is about how much I'm going to use. That might be too much. That might be too little. I don't know. It does, it has a very, very, very mild smell. Oh, this is very thick. Okay, this might be too much product for this part of my hair. This is very, oh yeah, this is way too much for that small section of my hair. So I'm going to take this down and add some more hair to that. It's a lot thicker of a product than I thought, which is actually kind of cool because that means it should go a bit further than like the other little, the other normal creams that I use. So I'm going to go ahead and spread that out. Like I said, y'all, it has a very light smell to it. So at this point, it's saying that I should be scrunching my curls to get a wash and go. 
I never do wash nails, so I'm, I'm not going to do that. But if I were to just be kind of trying to look at the texture, obviously you guys won't be able to see it dry. This is what I'd be doing. Scrunching it. And I will say, I see a little bit of curlage popping out there. The problem with my hair, you guys, is I just have not perfected the art of the wash and go. And so every time I do one, I end up hating my hair and I just don't want to waste a good hairstyle on doing one. I will say it does seem to be clumping my curls together very nicely. I'm going to go ahead and, and get this twist off popping. This is the first Miss Jessie's product I have ever used in my hair. I'm going to detangle a little bit more because I feel a couple knots at the root of this. But yeah, this is the first Miss Jessie's product I have ever used in my hair. Um, when I first went natural, I thought Miss Jessie, um, I thought TT, what is it? TT and Miko? I want to say it's TT and Miko, but I could be wrong. I know one of them has unfortunately passed away. Um, but I remember thinking that their hair was so stinking gorgeous. And I wanted to have hair like theirs. That was just the, like these big voluminous curls, but I just didn't. And so I think the knowledge that my hair just wasn't similar to theirs is what made me never really like go out of my way to invest in a Miss Jessie's product. But I'm super excited to try one now and see what happens. Um, obviously, after I twist my hair, I'm going to be letting it air dry um, over the next couple of days. But what I'm going to do is come back and show you guys what the product looks like to my what the product looks like in my hair. It seems to definitely be giving me a really decent amount of slip. That's for sure. Like I said, my hair was already pretty detangled, um, so I can't say if it's a it's good at being a detangler. But I'll definitely say like I feel like it's definitely making my curls pop out a bit more. Obviously, I'm combing them out right now because I'm getting that last bit of detangling in. But I'm excited to see what this product can do on my hair that has been twisted. Hi guys. So, I know that this is a bit of a different scene than you guys are used to seeing me in, but I wanted to make sure that I came back and showed you guys my hair. I'm sorry that it took so long. I honestly kept forgetting. I'm trying to see where the light is the best, but as you can see, it doesn't have a ton of texture, um, which it might be just because I've been kind of like raking through it but i will say when i first took my hair out of those twists um with the miss jesse's product in it it did have a lot more texture i would say that my hair overall is pretty soft especially up here um it's a little dry on the ends but i don't know i probably would have to use the product a couple more times to really get a feel for if my hair likes it i will say though i've used it twice um on a friend's daughter's hair um and it did really well on her hair. She's pretty young, maybe around seven or eight years old or something like that. So I think that the product is good. Please say if you guys catch it or even catch on the sale to try it. My hair didn't suffer any negative effects from it. I'm just not sure if it's as moisturizing as some of the other things I use long-term wise. But when I originally took my hair out, my curls were popping. They were really curly and stuff like that. It just seems like over time, my hair is a bit drier than it normally is. But that could also be due to me. Who knows? Um, so yeah, I would give this product a thumbs up. I'm not going to say that it's going to be like a staple or anything just yet. I'll maybe try to do an update later on when I use it again um, and let you guys know how I like it. It's probably going to be a while though because I'm getting box braids next week. So my hair will be up and away for a good chunk of the beginning of summer. But yeah, I definitely would say that overall I liked it. And I would definitely say I liked it more so as a styler than a moisturizer. If you're using this product to style, I think that it's good. But if you want something that's going to be ultra moisturizing, ultra moisturizing, I would definitely say use your favorite leave-in under it to help you get that effect and then just make sure you're doing all of your other hydrating routine things with your hair so yeah thank you guys for watching this video um please give it a thumbs up if you've made it all this way like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video bye